I'm going to apply integrative thinking method to analyze the dilemma of Emory Pacific. Emory Pacific Group is a South Korean beauty and cosmetic conglomerate operating over 30 beauty, personal care, and health brands. Their vision is to reach top 10 cosmetic company lists and increase sales. Their markets include South Korea, France, China, and United States. Emory Pacific has strong product quality, high positioning in domestic markets, stability of the cosmetic industry, overseas opportunities. However, they have low brand popularity compared with their competitors, hence they need more publicity investments. Their threats include saturation of domestic market and change of the law and regulation. For example, China established a law against door-to-door -door sales, which was a loose at the time because it is the successful sales approach. They have three main dilemmas. I will focus on different strategy in different countries. They use differentiation strategy in the Chinese market, which focuses on different customer groups. There are some advantages. The strategy can weaken the bargaining power of customers. The company has stronger competition. In U.S. market, they focus on a particular customer group and introduce luxury products. It is the special service scope to resist competitive pressure. Local brand is the benefit of both differentiation strategy and specialization strategy. In terms of cause effects relationships, a lot of imitations which are pro quality narrows the perceived difference. They have negative influence to the reputation of the company. Second, the effects of product differentiation decreased by the needs of customers in the Chinese market. From the US market, it is easy to limit Anchor to gain overall market share. They have pro adaptability to environmental changes. So let's explore the solution for Amory Pacific. Emory Pacific should use combined and comprehensive model of foreign market entries. They should introduce luxury skincare, cream, and spa center to attract the high salary customer groups in the large size cities of China because it has strong market demand and customers are willing to pay. They should also segment brand positioning in the United States market. Finally, they should create learning organization. Learning is an essential factor for the resilience of the organization and sustainable development. For example, after learning to rename their products and make perfume, they successfully entered to French market. Last step, we should assess the prototype and solve the dilemma and increase the sales. It is necessary to help Emory Pacific to match strategic targets in the foreign markets. Thank you for watching.